So we'll adjust the height of the main bar with the width index controls until the main bar is exactly two and a half inches below the hinge edge of the door. So we have a 2-8 door. It's an eighth of an inch under by this measurement. The scale on the machine is set at 2-8 exactly right now. We're going to bump the width index until we get exactly two and a half inches from the hinge edge of the door to the main bar of the machine. And then if we look at our scale, we can see that we are at an eighth of an inch under. After we set the main bar so that it's exactly two inches below the hinge edge of the door, if the scale does not read exactly the same as the door measures, then you'll need to come around to the back of the machine and the adjustment for the scale is right here. Those two bolts in this slotted hole and you can adjust the scale up and down until the indicator on the scale reads exactly the same as the door measures. When you receive your magnum, the undercut reference scale is taped to the side of the machine and the indicator is not adjusted. So we'll remove the undercut reference scale. The scale has is a peel and stick. So we'll peel the tape off the back. and position it on the undercut reference assembly. When we were at the big front of the machine, we set it for an eighth of an inch under, but we're not really ready to, to adjust that yet. I'm gonna lock this down at the zero setting. So we're gonna take the uh, Width index, bring it up till it beeps. That's set at zero now. now. I can loosen the width index assembly, raise it up to one eighth of an inch below. And then check the width index again. Take the width index below. Bring it back up. And we'll make adjustments to that appropriately until we get our eighth of an inch, actual eighth of an inch under on the index scale up here. And then adjust the pointer to match. So with the undercut reference scale adjusted, the machine will auto stop at all of the door dimensions at the eighth of an inch under. If I want to change my standard undercut to a sixteenth, I can loosen that up, move the scale to one sixteenth under, and now all of the door stop dimensions will be at one sixteenth under. So now we can bevel the door, we'll bring the door in under the first roller, bring the infeed bed up until the undercut reference assembly lines up should always come up to the size and not down. Turn the power feed wheels on, start the size or sander, and bevel the door. So now that we've beveled the door, we'll take the door out and we'll measure the high side of the door. The door should measure the same thing that we read on the scale over here. The scale is right now set for a quarter inch under. This measures three sixteenths under, so we're off by a sixteenth of an inch. We'll need to reset our undercut reference scale. So I brought the door back over, set it back under here, and lined up the top of the reference bars on the undercut reference assembly again. This door is a sixteenth of an inch bigger than what it measures on the scale over there. So to correct that, we're going to take this scale, do that with it, measure that, extend it a sixteenth of an inch more, and then we're going to lower the door, that one sixteenth, like that, and then reset our scale 
so that it matches. And now we'll bevel the door again at this setting and measure it again. Now the door is a quarter of an inch under, which is the same as what the scale reads over here on the machine.